Derek Campos says that without a doubt, Rich Clemente is the best opponent of his career, and he really respects Clemente's ground game. But he said he feels he has an adv advantage, Jimmy, in the striking. Campo said, I'm not afraid to get hit, and I'm going to keep moving forward. You know, both of these guys said the same thing. I want to break the other guy. I want to crush their spirit. So I expect both guys to come forward and see what the other guy is made of. Campos wants to set and maintain a very hard pace. And he said, I don't care if I get booed. I'll actually feed off of the boos. I know I'm in Rich Clemente's hometown. Any noise the crowd makes, he said, it's motivation to me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome to the Bellator cage his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, Louisiana's own Rich Nolo Clemente. You see walking just behind his son, five-year-old Richie Clemente. Rich Clemente, this will be a 65th pro MMA fight. He has recorded an amazing 42 wins. He said he feels no added pressure fighting in his hometown in New Orleans. He said, in fact, at this stage of my career, I just don't feel any pressure at all when I fight. Now, there's nothing you can throw at Rich Clemente that he hasn't seen before. He's fought everywhere. He's fought every kind of style, every kind of opponent. And they've been some of the best in the world. Mental edge definitely to Rich Clemente. That's one of those things where the young gun is going to look to see what the old man has left in the tank. It'll be a big part of this fight. Clemente at age 36 feels he has a lot, but he admitted, I'm in the final push of his career. He didn't say the final stages, he said the final push. Well, he wants to see if he can get something done, especially in Bellator. Rich Clemente said he fully expects a fast start from his opponent, Derek Campos. Said he wants to get this to the ground ultimately. He thinks the compost will really struggle if he's on his back. He's always been a submission special. That's always been the backbone of Rich Clemente's career. He has nine wins via KO, KO 25 via submission. You see Derek Campos about to face the man that he calls far and away the best opponent of his career, that fighter, Rich Clemente. This will be his amazing 65th pro MMA fight as he's looking for career win number 43, Jimmy our tail of the tape. You see here, like I always say, Indiana Jones, it ain't the years, it's the mileage. 36 years old. 42, 21, and one. Derek Campos, 12 years younger, only 11 fights. What does Rich Clemente have left in the tank? That's the question tonight. Let's now send it up to Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, Bellator Fighting Championships along with Harris New Orleans tonight presents the season six finale. Here at Bellator 70, we begin with three five minute rounds at 157 pounds. Introducing first the red corner at five foot nine, weighing in at 154 and three quarter pounds. His professional record, nine wins, two losses from Austin, Texas, Derek the Stallion Campos. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner at five foot nine, weighing in at 157 and one half pounds. The veteran brings a professional record of 42 victories, 21 defeats with one draw. From Slidell, Louisiana, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Rich Nola Clemente. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Jordan Bass. This and all fights tonight, except for the Bantamweight Tournament semifinal, are under the unified rules of MMA. Elbows to the head are allowed. You see Derek Campos, he's in the blue trunks. There's Rich Clemente, he's in the red trunks. Jordan Bass is the referee, round number one. Who's gonna set the pace, who's gonna push the pace? Campos said he wants to push the pace. Clemente seems content with that. He doesn't want to rush, he doesn't want to feel pressured. 
you're in your 65th pro MMA fight at age 36, you're a three-decade fighter starting in 1999, you're just not going to get bothered quickly. Can you be flustered in your 65th pro MMA fight, Jimmy? Probably not, but you can be outworked. That's what Campos is going to look to do. Campos 12 years younger than Clemente, who goes down and looks for the up kick immediately. Fighters who are past their prime have trouble pulling the trigger. You see it all the time in boxing, kickboxing, MMA, it doesn't matter. That's when they tend to have trouble, is pulling the trigger. Campos said he really respects Clemente's ground game, so he may not dive in. So that's what Campos wants to do is, you know, see if the guys, if, if which Clemente can still pull the trigger on his counter punches. Campos age 24, Clemente age 36. So far, Campos is the one pushing the pressure, landing the strikes. He's going to lead left hand. From the clinch, short knee by Campos. Another knee by Derek Campos. Back to UC, flying the counter left. There's control by Clemente, looking for the turn, couldn't get it. Campos pulls out. They've been talking to each other. Campos said he wants to keep coming forward and is not afraid to be hit. So far, Rich Clemente willing to throw just one shot, it looks like. Jimmy, when a fighter says, I'm not afraid to be hit, do you think that's a good strategy? Can't be afraid to be hit. Truthfully, a lot of fighters in this sport are, though, even at a high level. Yeah, a lot of them are. You don't want to be afraid to be hit. You got to be willing to take damage. There's the shot, the single leg attempt by Rich Clemente. Nicely defended by Campos. Fighters who don't wake up until they get hit, that's a bad thing, in my opinion. A lot of fighters don't really start, start fighting until they get hit. Well, you're already behind at that point. 225 remaining in round number one. This Thursday night, Brooke Hogan joins Impact Wrestling, kicking off its live summer bash at the brand new time of 8 p.m. Eastern. No edits, no do-overs, no holding back. When Impact goes live, anything can happen. Impact's live summer bash every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on Spike. Clemente driving in with his shoulder. Putting a lot of pressure on, but not able to get the takedown so far. Wide base held by Derek Campos. Now he has both legs. Got to pull him off the fence here. Clemente really felt that Campos would struggle if he was flat on his back. That's where Clemente is aiming to get Campos, but can't do it. Campos sitting up on his hip now. Half guard. Here's where, where Clemente can really go to work. Campos to his back. Clemente trying to work out of half guard. You see butting in with the head. Headbutts are illegal, but you can butt in, drive in with the head. And that's a smart veteran move from Rich Clemente. It's a wrestler's there. trick. Good. Control over head pressure. Over. There we go. Good. Control. There you go. Good. Ask anyone who's ever done Greco at a high level. This sucks. Yep, just wrap it up. Wrap them up. Tight Guys that use their head effectively, man, at the end, it feels like you've been through a boxing good match. Good work. Campos trying to posture onto his hip. Got his guard back. Final minute of round number one. Open guard now from Derek Campos, who's looking for the up kick, and then explodes up and takes down Clemente. Now Clemente going for the guillotine. Clemente going hard for the guillotine finish. Putting a lot of energy into this. Might be all or nothing here. Campos trying to pop his head free. He got it! I think Rich Clemente just said, I am not quite ready for the retirement home. A great victory against a tough young fighter. You saw Clemente, he felt the tap. Referee Jordan Bass didn't see it, it was on the backside, and Clemente waited for Bass correctly to come in. We all know about the take back tap, and Rich Clemente did not fall for it. Great job by Clemente in his 65th pro MMA fight, and celebrating with his five-year-old son, Richie. Richie looks ready to fight. Take a look at it here. Set up, got the takedown, but fell right into the guillotine. Look at that left leg over the back. That's where the pressure is coming from. Great hips by Rich Clemente. Burying, tap. Yeah, you see it right there, burying that forehead down. 
Jimmy, you talk about that as a former pro fighter, now an active MMA trainer. Don't break the hold when your opponent taps. Break it when the referee tells you to break. Exactly. A lot of guys do the take back tap. You called it. It's true. 43 pro MMA wins for Rich Clemente, and he gets his first now inside the Bellator cage. Campos wanted to stand and bang. You see Campos not diving in. Takedown by Clemente, who wanted to get this fight to the ground and felt that he could ultimately record a victory if he could get Campos on his back. But not Campos, though, very game tenacious in his Bellator debut. But Clemente, with the guillotine going hard, forcing Campos to actually tap out twice. It was on the backside. There's the first tap. Clemente telling referee Jordan Bass he tapped. Campos tapping again. Jordan Bass saw it. And a great reaction from Amanda Clemente, Rich Clemente's wife. Here's Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, the tap comes by way of a guillotine at 418. Into round number one, the winner by submission, Rich No Love Clemente. Here's Jimmy Smith. I'm here with your winner, Rich No Love Clemente. A tough win against a very tough young opponent. Not ready for retirement yet, huh? No, not yet, but uh, uh, hey, a lot of props to him, man. I mean, everybody, especially when a guy like me fights, people are chomping at my heels, man. They want to try to use my name to try to come up, and you know, I took him very, very serious. I just want to say, for the guys who have been following me for a long time, I appreciate it. I got a lot of fans out here, been out here for years, and uh, just, you know, I've been in this fight, fighting for 14 years, man, and if you think you could go all 14 years without having up and downs, you're crazy. But the, for me as a competitor, the valleys, man, is what makes me strong. And I'm on my peak right now. I'm coming back. My body's right. My family's great. Better watch out, man. The load's back in the house. Now, speaking of the future, what are your plans going forward? To sur surpass anything I've done in the past. That's my only goal. Well, we're looking forward to it. Big hand for Rich. No love, Clemente. I think without question, he's the most popular fighter in Louisiana and in his hometown of New Orleans. You just saw his son, five-year-old Richie Clemente, celebrating. Again, the finish on the guillotine. Watch the first tap from Derek Campos. Clemente calls to referee Jordan Bass. Campos taps again, and that's the victory. And all smiles from Richie Clemente. I had hair just like that when I was a kid, hard to believe.